Okay, this is what I want to talk about today. This specific moment of tension before change happens, before impact. The second before I actually start playing, the moment before I interrupt the silence that is so very silent with one of the loudest instruments in the world. And for you, that could be the moment before public speaking, the moment before you're about to sing, or before you have a conversation that needs to happen, or the moment right before you make your mark on this world in some way, whether small or whether big. You see, the run up to this moment is pretty well documented, I would say, because, you know, we've all been there. It is anxiety, and it is stress, and it is worry, and it's panic, and it's kind of getting lost in the various outcomes that you might want to happen, that you might expect to happen, that you really want to avoid, and it creates this kind of chaotic noise in your head. This is the run-up to any situation where you are about to make some form of impact that matters. And there is a specific feeling that comes with that futile grasp of an outcome that we really want. We really want it, we really want things to go well, but ultimately it's out of our control. We can prepare until we are blue in the face. I could practice the organ all night long, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the performance is going to be what I want it to be. That's just the nature of being out on the ledge. When we put ourselves in vulnerable positions like playing, singing, difficult conversations, public speaking, anything where we care about the outcome, anything where we want to do our best, really, there's just no knowing. There's no way of knowing exactly what's gonna happen. Anyway, we know this. This, is, this has been said and gone over a million times, but I, what I specifically wanna talk about today is the switch moment, the moment where all of that anxiety and stress and that run up, that build up, the tension right before that moment switches into being in the zone. That moment where you are no longer concerned with all of the trivial grasping of control and you are just purely focused on the task. You're purely focused on what it is that you need to do because that moment, that feeling is so comforting. There's so much goodness in that emotion. What I would like to try and do in this new year is have more moments where I feel that switch turn on and I go into that zone because I think it's so easy to get caught up in um, the value of what it is that we are doing and the outcomes of what it is that we are doing when they can be some of the most intimidating measurements because they are so out of our control. We don't know exactly how much value, I don't know how much value this video is gonna bring. I don't know how much value I brought to the congregation on Christmas Eve there. There's no way of necessarily knowing that, but one thing that you can kind of have some faith in, the one thing that you can be relatively confident with, I'm being very cautious as I'm saying this, is that when you switch over into that flow state, into that being in the zone, into just focusing on the task and getting yourself out of the, the messy, muddy mind that is the worrying mind, that's a good metric for knowing that you are on the right path. More moments like that mean you're gonna be more aligned. More moments like that mean that you are working towards an outcome that is ultimately good but without being distracted by the outcome that you desire. So the point that I would like to make is that it's very easy if there's something that you are trying to accomplish, and this can be anything from having a difficult conversation to skydiving, to um, something creative or a performance, anything where there's a certain amount of impact that you wish to have on the world and that impact comes from you doing, from you taking action. I think that it's very easy to get yourself into a way of thinking where the goal of what you're trying to do is to have had it done, is to have finished. But I think for some of us, it might be a better way of thinking to feel that switch, to aim for the moment that the tension becomes the release, for the moment where the stress becomes the doing, and the anxiety becomes being in the zone for a number of reasons. One, I think that it is just healthier. And two, I think there is something incredibly rich and meaningful about being in that state. I think it's quite spiritual. I think it connects. It's like the place where all of the good things of humanity have come from. It's like the well 
the well that we can draw upon. And I think having a better relationship with that place can only be a good thing. But I do think it's really important to remember that if ever there is some impact that you want to make, whether that is creative or arty, or if it's ju just any anything where you make impact in your life and you deem it to be worthwhile, there's always gonna be an element of risk there. And it's perfectly natural to get a little bit concerned about the risk that you are risking. Whether that's, you know, your own feelings of self-worth or your, your attachment to your desired outcome, whatever it is. The value of what you are doing comes from that risk. You can't remove it. And I think the best thing you can do is try and have a better relationship with that moment. The moment of the switch. The moment you go from the, the human fear <laughs> the very, very human feelings of not wanting to stand out, of not wanting to make a fool of yourself, or, you know, these things that do come from a very normal place. I think accepting that that is how you feel in those situations, but knowing that there is comfort in that switch, switching into the zone, switching into the, the act of doing where you are focused on the actual task at hand and all the noise of the stress and the panic all quietens down. And that is such a gift. And I think accessing that that mode is, it's beautiful. I think that gets lost along the way when you are trying to achieve a goal. We end up thinking about the goal and that's not always healthiest, maybe. You don't have to agree with me. That's the other thing to <laughs> say as well. This might not be how you think and that's completely fine, but that's what's been on my mind. So I just wanted to share that. Did that make sense? <laughs> This is the problem. I always, I either over plan the videos so that like word for word, I'm like, I know this is gonna make sense. Or I get the end of the video and I'm like, did, did that work? I don't know. Was that all right? <laughs> who, who knows? Who knows? I feel like I've said many times now that I wanna be making videos more regularly. Um, I'm just gonna do what feels right for me um but i'm very happy to be back at least but thank you for watching this video to this point especially i really do uh, really do appreciate it and yeah i will hopefully see you soon i guess if there's one thing i want to leave you with it is to look for opportunities for that switch did we switch on turn your anxiety and fear of the out of a desired outcome into that pure focus that wonderful place where you feel powerful. Like I think you genuinely feel power in that moment because you can draw power from that feeling, from that connectedness to, to something. <laughs> Call it what you want. Anyway, with all that said, I hope you had a lovely Christmas, Christmassy time, whatever that meant for you. And I hope as always that you are doing well and hopefully see you soon. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.